Hey guys, I am back and um, another can opening video because I had mentioned that I wanted to talk about the P38 military issue can opener and I didn't get to it because I couldn't find my giant box of them when we did the last, the can, the camping can opener, the lever can opener video. And this is a, you know, it looks simple and, and stupid, but this is a cool little thing. It really is. Um, they're not military issue anymore, but they were for a long time. And this, one of these little guys was dangling from my dog tags for a while. Um, and so there's, there's two different sizes. So we're going to talk about the P38, this little guy, and the P51, this littler but bigger guy. Um, so, you know, the names P38 and P51, I'll, I'll tell you right now, there, there isn't a lot of history on, on where they got their names, on why they are, you know, coincidentally, they share the names of the P38 Lightning and the P51 Mustang. Is that on purpose? Is that a mistake? You know, no one knows. Um, I'm sure somebody knows, but, you know, they just, it is what it is. Uh, is the P51 bigger, better, faster? You know, just like the Mustang? I don't know. But, you know, this thing, the P51 is still um, packaged with large... Um, there are like bulk in the in the field tray meals that um, the military uses, and and this thing is still around and packaged with those things, uh, and it's you know the open with this. Um, these things are are no longer issued, but they are given out in disasters with canned meals and stuff um, by different different agencies. They've been given out in Afghanistan to to locals, and you can still you can get these things for less than fifty cents. Um, and I, I do have a giant box of them. And we've seen them come in, like, I think, shit hits the fan box and some other some other boxes. And they are in an emergency. They are very useful. They're very effective, useful can openers. Um, so I am going to go over how to use it. But I'm going to also talk about, because it's a cool little military item, some of the history. Um, so you see on these ones, if you can, you have the printing uh, Shelby Company or Shelby, yeah, Shelby Company US. So this is actually made by the company that produced a lot of them. Both of these say you have the Shelby, US Shelby. Um, this was the second manufacturer uh, under contract for the military. The The first co uh, company, they, they went out, um, I think 1973-ish, I, I don't, I couldn't tell you exactly. This is, so this is, you know, the Shelby Company, and, and it's not the Shelby Company, but it's, you know, um, or maybe it is the Shelby Company. I don't know, but they're looking at Shelby, Ohio. So all these are made, you know, in the USA, and um, these things were first issued in 1942 when, with the in, uh, the initial, um, the initial issue of the K-Ration um, for troops out in the field because food came in cans, and then it stayed around with the Sea Rat. Um, when troops still needed to open up food in cans. And they really didn't go out of style being issued until the MRE, which came around in the 80s. Um, so when I got in the military in the very late 90s, well, mid to late 90s, um, you know, these things were still floating around because MREs were, well, I came in when MREs were still packaged in the dark brown, looked like garbage bag kind of packages. Uh, and there were only 12 different choices and, and some of them sucked, but they were still sea rats floating around in the inventory. So, uh, you know, they, you, the military uses things until they're gone. Um, now I did, I never ate any, I never had to eat any, but these things were given out. And so, like I said, this, this hung from my dog tags in case I ever had to use it. You can find these, I mean, you can find these all over the place. Army, Navy stores, online, Amazon. Now I bought these because I wanted to do the video. I wanted to do it before the end of the month. Um, and I couldn't find my giant box of them. And I paid a little bit more than I should. I paid $4 for the pair of these. That's, I mean, you like I said, literally, if you look online, you can find this for 49 cents. Probably less in some places if you buy it like in bulk. Some, some people buy them in bulk and stash them all over the place or give them out to people. Um, but, uh, you know, Amazon, I, I get them a Prime member. So Amazon Prime, $4 for the two of them, got them here in two days. And I said, okay, whatever. They work the same way either way. So you see that you've got your folding blade here. And then you've got, this is the little thing that hooks under the lip of the can. And like I said, the P51 is just bigger and works a little bit faster. Um, a little easier to hold because it's bigger. But all you do is take your P38 can opener, hook that little guy under the lip of the can, 
and then use the point to punch through the can and work your way backwards. And it's not the most comfortable can opener. Um, it's not the fastest, but it works. And when you're in the field and you're hungry, or if you have one of those fancy electric can openers and there's a power outage, guess what? This will get the job done. And it's a nice clean cut too. Do you remember um, we when we, if you haven't seen the other one, look at some of the lever can openers and the edge they left. And if you haven't seen the lever can opener, I'll put an end screen that you can click on so you can go right back to it. Uh, this leaves a much less jagged edge on the can. It is a little bit more work because it's a smaller item. But there you go. In just the time we were talking, I have diced tomatoes open and ready to go. So in terms of a survival item or camping item or just a preparedness item, the P38 is great. The only disadvantage is it's so small it could get lost, so you got to take care of it. The P51, just a little bit bigger, but it's still very small, um, so you want to take care of it. The reason I put it on dog tags, this, this hole, by the way, is exactly the right size for the little ball chain for dog tags. I think that was done on purpose. But the reason I put it on, on dog tags was so that I didn't have to worry about losing it anywhere. Um, I had this. I had my St. Michael's little medallion, patron saint of paratroopers, and um, one of my dog tags all kind of wrapped with a little rubber band so it didn't make any noise and it didn't rattle around. And then I had the other dog tag on the longer chain, the toe tag. Um, and it was very convenient. It doesn't weigh anything. I mean, it weighs absolutely nothing. I mean, literally nothing. I mean, I'm sure it's like one-tenth of a gram or something. You know what I mean? It's like nothing. Um, so these are pretty cool and pretty convenient. And that is how you use a P38 military can opener. Very simple um, and very cheap. So you guys can check them out. I would put a link to, to where to buy one. But honestly, you, I mean, you're best just searching on Google P38 can opener and, and just find the best deal you can. You know, um, it's always kind of changing. Uh, it might you might get to get the best deal. You might have to buy a small bag of like five or six. But you know what? You're still looking at like two dollars for like. Sometimes you can find ten of them for two dollars, and just stash them in different bags, different places, different drawers, whatever. It's you know it's it's worth it. So there you go. Um, as promised slash threatened slash requested, P38 and P51 military. Survival can openers. March is coming around the corner. We've got a whole new cycle of boxes and videos. The snow is melting. Yay! So I can get out in the woods and do some of those tests we wanted to do. We still have Battle Box, Mission 71 follow ups, and stuff like that. So while we're waiting for those to happen, remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will be back again real soon.